Hi, I'm Jerry with RetroZone Damper Direct, and we're going to talk about one of our most popular damper motors. If you're watching this video, it's probably because you're having some issue with the damper motor, and we can solve that about 98% of the time. Uh, if you would, I do want to say please subscribe to our channel because we'll be putting out these videos from time to time. And if you have a zoning system, I think you'll find it beneficial just to learn about it as we go. Thanks. Uh, today we're going to talk about our most popular replacement motor, the RZ31. Here I've got a Honeywell damper with a failed Honeywell motor. This is probably our number one replacement motor. They have plastic gears in them. Uh, it's a two-wire spring return motor. They don't tend to hold up well in the field. Now, some can last a long time, and I think it might be important to note some don't last very long at all. And if you find yourself replacing these motors every few years, it's time to try some different options. And we have about four different motors to replace these Honeywell or Common Footprint uh, motors. Now, the first thing I want to say, this is not really our technical video. We have another video for that that, uh, that talks more about installation and other uh, parts and pieces. I just want you to understand your options if you're thinking about replacing one of these damper motors. First of all, the first and most popular is our RZ31 motor that is available directly from our website. It's available on Amazon and eBay. It's a big seller, and unlike the Honeywell motor you're replacing, it has all metal gears. It does not have plastic gears, and it's as easy as pulling the old motor off, putting the new motor on, and then tightening the set screw down below. I should have loosened that before we started. That was already out, but, but that's all there is to it. And in fact, most of them installed the same way, okay? Now, this is a two-wire spring, spring return motor like the Honeywell that came off. Um, and that means that when you operate the motor to typically close the damper, to close off the airflow, it has to pull power the entire time that it's in operation. For those of you that have pulled the cover off and never touched these motors when they've been operating, they're so hot you can't touch them. That's one of the failure points on these motors. If they're in hot attics, if they're in a situation where they're cycling a great deal, this may explain why you have motors that fail every year or every couple of years. And if you're in that situation, you may want to consider upgrading. Okay, the next option is moving up to a three-wire motor. A three-wire motor is only going to pull power when it's opening and closing, and then it sits there and it does not use any power unless the damper blade is moving. Therefore, it never gets uh, even warm to the touch and the reliability, as with all three-wire motors, tends to be longer. So this one is our RZ135-7 on our website. And again, it, like all common footprint motors, it's going to just fall into place. Very easy to install. Um, it is open, close only, and you do need to have a zone control panel that supports a three-wire damper, as I pointed out here. Easy to see. It's either got three terminals or it has two terminals on your zone control panel. Now, the, uh, the next option on a three-wire motor is our very popular BH Kit 1 using a Belimo commercial grade motor. These virtually never fail. We have been putting these motors out for about 20 years, and if you never want to look at a damper motor again, this is the way to go. It's where you want to put them in harsh environments where you think your motors have been failing because of lots of cycles or any other situation where you're experiencing very common failures, failures that are happening every year or two or three. Uh, this is the way to go. Commercial grade, five-year warranty, and... We make a adapter shaft that simply goes onto the damper, tighten it down. Then the damper motor goes on top of it. And then there is an anti-rotation bracket. We supply the screws that fits up under the motor and screws onto the damper. That's all there is to putting putting it on and you're in the three wire commercial grade motor business. Uh, we're very proud of this kit. We have great success with them. 
Uh, it may be an option that you want to um, look at, but there's something else I want to tell you about this. Even if you do have a zone control panel that only supports a two-wire damper output, um, perhaps made by Linux, Jackson, ZTech, and there are actually quite a few out, you'll only see two damper outputs, you can still use this motor even though it's a three-wire motor. You will still need three wires from the damper to the zone control panel, but because this is a smart motor with a chip on it, it has some tricks. And one of them is it will work on a zone panel, an economy zone panel that only has a two-wire damper output. The third wire simply goes to R under the thermostat. And these, of course, come with thermostats. And so um, if you're in that situation, this will also work for you. Now, some of you will be in a situation where you only have two wires running from the zone panel to the damper. You can't add a third wire. Perhaps the wire goes through the walls or there's some other issue. But we have a solution for you on that as well. And that is our TF kit one, which is still a two wire motor. It works just on the two wires that you have. It has a different uh, adapter shaft that once again goes over the, uh, I've got this one screwed all the way in, goes over the existing damper shaft. The motor goes on. and I don't have it loosened up enough to fit, but then there is again the anti-rotation bracket that goes underneath and the rear of the motor goes on that. It's also very simple to install, two wires, commercial grade. You may go, wow, that's huge. I bet it lose, uses a lot of power, but in fact, it doesn't. It only uses a quarter of the power of your old Honeywell motor. It's rated, it says right on the motor, about two and a half watts of power when it is in operation. Because of that, they never really get hot, and the uh, uh, longevity is just outstanding on this motor. So this is, if you can only get two wires uh, from the zone panel to the motor, this is a very good solution 